So, yesterday, I had a fucking headache. And I get headaches frequently. I took an Advil PM to go to sleep, right? I'm asleep. I'm in my room sleep. Door closed, right? My mom just comes up here, opens the fucking door, and like, Oh, I thought you was in here asleep. Then why the fuck you just open the door and wake me up then? If you knew I was asleep. This the shit I be talking about that my mama don't do to my other fucking siblings. Don't do it. Give you an example. My brother is in the basement. He in the basement. He be asleep. And then my mama be like, oh, I don't want to go down there because I might wake him up. So she won't open the fucking door to the basement and wake him up. But she'll come straight up here and just open my door while I'm asleep. I'm literally sleep talking to y'all. I'm sleep talking to her, y'all. Like, get out my room. She talking about always oh, some chicken downstairs. I don't give a fuck about no motherfucking chicken. Let me give y'all an example. I always be like chicken and pork, chicken and pork, chicken and pork. I'm like, that's the only fucking two meats black people act like they know of in existence. It's other meats in existence. But I do that because that's all my mama buy. If she ain't buying chicken, she cooking chicken. If she ain't buying chicken, she cooking pork. So. She know I don't fuck with chicken like that. This is why I say she be fucking with me on purpose. A aggravating and irritating me while my siblings are trying to make it seem like I'm doing something to her. I don't fucking wake her up while she sleep. And she stood at my door and lied and talked about you. Yes, you have. Like, no the fuck I haven't. It ain't my fault your room is next to the goddamn kitchen. And you got an opening in the kitchen. You design the shit. So it's like, uh, yeah. I'm going to get food, but I'm not intentionally trying to wake you. I don't walk in there like, hey, it's shaking like, are you asleep? So she be fucking with me once again. And get when I get my apartment, y'all, the next apartment I get, ain't none of my motherfucking siblings going to be welcoming that bitch. Because it really pisses me off the double standards and shit. I can wake you up, but you can't wake me up. I can be loud when you sleep, but you be quiet when I'm asleep. I don't like that fucking shit. I don't like that shit, man. And, and I... It's hard. It's hard to stay calm. It's, and, and let me tell y'all another thing. When you got a headache and you take an Advil, right? You let it put you to sleep. If you wake up too early once it puts you to sleep, you can get the same fucking headache you had when you took the first pill. It'll come back even stronger. So it's not nothing to play around with. It's like, damn. And even crazier than that, earlier, rewind, in the day, when we was in the car, when she took me to get the pill, I was like, yeah, I'm going to try to go to sleep, but in this fucking house, I bet you I ain't going to be able to go to sleep. And she proved my fucking point, come up here and wake me up by some dumbass chicken. Fuck the chicken. I don't even like chicken, dog. And when I say I don't like chicken, I'm not saying I don't never eat chicken. I'm saying if my mama say, what do you want to eat? I don't never say motherfucking chicken. That's some shit my father used to say. I ain't never said go give me some chicken. I don't fuck with KFC. I don't fuck with Church's chicken. I don't fuck with Popeye's. I don't fuck with none of that shit. Fried chicken ain't even healthy for you. 